Donald Trump hammering Hillary Clinton over questions of the possible overlap between the Clinton Foundation's work and her work at the State Department. But he's not even close to the only one. Just look at the papers this morning. The Washington Post here. The latest Clinton emails show what an ethics agreement shouldn't look like. USA Today says mothball the foundation. So how is Hillary Clinton's campaign responding? CNN senior Washington correspondent Jeff Zeleny, he is in Washington. Jeff, both Secretary Clinton, Tim Kaine, they have no public events today, but, but what are we hearing on the foundation from the campaign? Well, Jim, campaign aides are pushing back with vigor on this, saying the AP report is simply flawed. They called it grossly unfair as well. But Hillary Clinton herself has yet to weigh in at all, which is unusual given how much political oxen oxygen this controversy is consuming. It has rattled the campaign, perhaps even caught them a bit off guard. But so far, Democrats believe it doesn't change the fact she's in command of this race. Tonight, Hillary Clinton back on defense. The Clinton Foundation in Donald Trump's crosshairs. Hillary Clinton is desperate to cover up her crimes. As she raises millions on a star-studded California swing, off the campaign trail for a third straight day. Trump is having a field day with an Associated Press report reviewing Clinton's calendar during part of her time at the State Department. It found more than half of her non-government visitors gave money to the Clinton Charitable Foundation. Clinton aides say those figures are just not true. She has not commented, but her team is mounting a full-throated defense of the foundation's work. Hillary Clinton and her family had a foundation. It is charitable. They're charitable organizations that are doing important work, and the idea that they would be dragged into a political back and forth and used as weapons for attacks is completely absurd and beyond the pale. I think it's one of the most massive misrepresentations you could see from the data. And then they're trying to malign and implicate that there was some something nefarious going on when in fact there wasn't. Chief strategist Joel Benenson telling CNN's Chris Cuomo that Trump's suggestions of pay for play are false, noting that Trump also gave money to the foundation, known for its humanitarian work around the globe. Donald Trump gave $100,000 to the foundation. It's a big donation. Did, was he paying for play? It's hardly the quiet August Clinton was hoping for. She's leading in national and swing state polls, but fighting a new round of critical headlines over the foundation and her private email server at the State Department. Friends of Clinton tell CNN the campaign was taken off guard, believing the foundation controversy was behind them. The campaign has reacted slowly, these Democrats say, because Bill and Hillary Clinton have long believed the good works of the foundation outweigh any appearances of conflict. Clinton is hoping to turn the page in a speech Thursday, blasting Trump far beyond questioning his temperament. Aides say she will highlight a disturbing connection between Trump and the alt-right conservative movement, often associated with white nationalism. Trump's products have been made in 12 other countries. She's also highlighting his outsourcing in a new campaign ad. Donald Trump says he'll make America great again while he's taking the shirts right off our backs. CNN has learned Clinton will also receive her first classified intelligence briefing as a presidential nominee on Saturday in New York. Now, Donald Trump received his first briefing last week. Of course, much of this information contained in this report is likely to be familiar to her given her time as Secretary of State, which is now back in the news in ways she might prefer to avoid. Jim? No question, Jeff Zeleny. Thanks very much.